Hey all, it's Jeff from ZenPilot, your productivity professor. And I'm here today to talk about the three fastest ways to create a task in ClickUp. So whether you're an account manager that's in a ton of different meetings and you need a quick and efficient way to create a task from those meetings, or you're just someone that forgets to do some things and you need, again, just a fast way to create tasks inside of ClickUp, this video is for you. I'm going to take you step by step through the three different ways that you can quickly and efficiently create tasks in ClickUp to save you a ton of time. Let's get started. All right, let's discuss the first option that you have for creating a task efficiently inside of ClickUp. And the first way is going to be using slash commands and your hotkeys. If you don't have your hotkeys turned on, you need to make sure that they are. So first, before you do this, go into your personal settings in ClickUp in the top right here. You'll see my settings just like that. We're going to scroll down until we see our preferences. Once you see your preferences, look for the hotkeys. Make sure that the hotkeys are turned on because that's going to help you actually do this method that I'm going to show you. So once they're turned on, go ahead and click back. And now let's start creating a task. So what I want to do is no matter where I am inside of ClickUp, I'm able to go to my keyboard and I'm going to click T. And bada boom, bada bing, we now have our ability to create a task. So it's super quick, super easy. So you'll see I also have the ability to create a doc, reminder, chat, or whiteboard. But again, I'm focused on creating a task. I can also find this if I go up here to new, create an item just like that. It's the same uh, menu here for me to actually create a task, but I want to save time and I just want to use my keyboard. So let's go again, anywhere we are, click T. All right. The first thing to note when you get to this menu here, as you'll see up at the top, this is the location where the task is going to be put into. To keep your ClickUp workspace organized, I highly recommend right when you get this, make sure we're putting this task into the right spot. So think about the folder and list and the space that this is going into. I need to make sure that this is in a different list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my slash commands here. If you haven't used slash commands inside ClickUp, highly recommend it. They're super quick and efficient. So I'm going to do slash. So you'll see I have a bunch of different options now on my screen. If I use my arrow keys, I can go and find one. Or if I know what the slash command is that I need, I can just start typing it in. So the first one is going to be move. So I'll type in move. As you'll see, I have my task actions. Click enter just like that in You'll see now I have my all of my spaces inside of ClickUp that I can now take this task and move it into a different one. So let's say I'm in the Dunder Mifflin folder and retainer XYZ list, but I need to put this in the review and strategy list. I'm going to just use my arrow keys, press down just like that. So you'll see now it's highlighting the review and strategy with that dark gray or light gray color. Just click enter. And as you'll see at the top, it's now moved location. So that's great. I have my location for where this task is going to go. I'm done with step one. Step two, let's actually start writing on our task. So now I'm going to go and just say I need to schedule a meeting with Michael Scott, just like that. All right, we have our task. We're good to go. Make sure, again, that's detailed enough so we actually know what it is. We can also add a task description if we need to, uh, but we'll just start with this. All right, now let's start using our slash commands even more. So now I'll do a space and I'm going to do slash. As you'll see, again, I have all of my options. If I want to use my arrow keys, I can jump around to different ones. But if I know what it is, then I can just type it. So the first one, let's actually assign this to ourselves because if it's not assigned to us, it's just going to be lost in the wilderness. So I'm going to go assign. Again, you'll see I can do assign or assign to me. So if assigning it to someone else, I can click on that one or I can just do down, assign to me. Makes it super easy. As you'll see down here, my little face, it's assigned to me. Next up, slash, we want to do time estimate. So let's say that this is going to take us 10 minutes. We want to type any time we can there, 10 minutes, just like that. Okay, now we have signy and a time estimate. The last thing at minimum that we need is due date. You'll see I can either do due date today or due date. I can do today, tomorrow, it's Friday, next week, seven days, or I can type any date in time as well. Let's just say that this is due tomorrow. And now our task is set for the least the three minimum components that we need. You always need a signee, always need a due date and a time estimate because that's going to help us with our workload view inside of ClickUp. We also want to think about the additional custom fields and things like that that are needed as well. But I'll start at the minimum for now. Now, as you'll see, the add description right there is highlighted in gray. If I click enter right now, that's going to pull up and give me the ability to actually start writing a task description. So if I needed some additional context into this task, I could do that right there. And again, I can also use my slash commands if I wanted to add some different formatting and things like that. We don't really need to worry about that. But let's just say uh, Michael wants to talk about a new idea around 
gift baskets. Um, so that's my contacts in the task. And if I need to say like, oh, he wants to schedule this sometime next week, whatever it may be, I can add that description into the task as well. But from there, we're good to go. Now all we need to do is actually just create this task. So what I'm going to do is I can do command enter to save me time for moving my mouse. And as you'll see, that task is now created down here. If I wanted to open that or put it in my tray, I can do that as well. But that's the first option when creating a task efficiently inside of ClickUp. All right, option number two when creating a task inside of ClickUp is going to be creating a task from a document. So this is a great way if you're in a meeting with a bunch of different customers and you need a way to, to have action items that actually create tasks directly from that document, as well as provide some context into what that task is. Maybe it's for yourself or for someone else. What you'll want to do is you want to have agenda and in your notes inside of ClickUp in one spot. So what I'm going to do here, if I go to my Dunder Mifflin folder, I have all of my Dunder Mifflin docs right here. And this is going to be my overview of the client, as well as all my meeting notes that I've taken. As you'll see, I just jumped out of a meeting uh, with Michael today, and I have all my notes here from the attendees to my agenda to all the key points that were discussed. And then if I go down to the bottom, I have all of my action items that are written out um, nicely. So I need to make sure I actually take action on these and do them. So I want to create a task from these inside of ClickUp. So what I'm able to do is I can highlight any of these. So if I want to schedule a meeting with Dwight and Michael to discuss a gift basket idea, that's my action item from this. I can highlight that as you'll see over here, it gives me the ability to create a task from this text. So either I can do command option and T to create that task or just come here and create a task just like this, but I'll create it. And now again, I need to select the correct list. I can come here, select the list. We'll do review and strategy just like we did before. And then I want to put my signee on there. I'm assigning this to myself. If I need to do custom fields, I can do that as well. Priority. Um, but I want to make sure I have my due date. This is due tomorrow. And I need my time estimate of 10 minutes, just like that. And that gives us the ability to then create a task just like this. So command or enter or just click create. As you'll see now, I've created a task from this document, from the text within our action items here. So I can do, I can click on this and that's going to pull my task up just like that. And if I want to get minimize that, I can do that as well. But that'll be our way that we can easily create a task from a ClickUp document. In addition, another way to add some more detail to this task is let's say that this task is coming from a specific note that we took inside of our agenda here. So let's say it's um, maybe campaign objectives. If I want to come here, so you'll see if I go to where this bullet point is listed, I can um, click on this, these six dots right here, and then I can do the copy block link just like that. So when I copy that block link, it's going to copy all of the text here. And then what I can do is scroll back down, go into this task and either leave it in the task description or leave a comment over here as well. I can go and I can just paste that in here. As you'll see now, it's going to give me a link to that document as well as the text that was included. So we'll see our document there. That's the title of it. It was just the um, date of the meeting um, and then the text where this is actually being pulled from. And then I can send this as a comment or I can put that in the task description, whatever works best. So you'll see there, now we have that. It's going to link to the document as well. Give me that context that I need for the specific task. If this is assigned to myself or someone else, just a super helpful way to, again, get some more context into what this task is for. The other awesome part to this method here with creating a task from a document is now I can also see the progress of this task. So you'll see here it says to do, but if I were to go and if this task was completed, just like that, it's now going to give me the visibility into the task right here. So as you can see, now it's closed. So as I close all these, or maybe I don't, maybe it's overdue, I'll be able to see all of that um, right in the document. So if I have all my meeting notes in one place and I needed to pull these into sort of the next meeting to discuss the action items that were complete, I could show that directly here. In addition, you'll see it's also related to the doc that it's coming from as well. All right, option number three when creating a task super efficiently inside of ClickUp is going to be using the ClickUp Chrome extension. So this one's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be inside of ClickUp. We're going to be outside of ClickUp, but creating a task very efficiently from our email. So what you're going to want to do first is you want to make sure you have the ClickUp Chrome extension downloaded. So if you come here to ClickUp.com slash Chrome extension, I can install the Chrome extension just like this. Super easy to set up. Just make sure you do that. And then you'll want to log into your account just to get everything connected. But from there, what I'm able to do is let's say in this scenario, it's a little bit different. Instead of me being in a meeting with Michael, he sends me an email 
that has an action item from it. Uh, I'm, it's not something I'm going to do right away. I am about to go out for lunch or take a walk. And I just want to make sure that I get a task created for this so that it's in my workspace and I don't forget to do it. So as you'll see here, Michael just has a great new idea about giving gift baskets to um, their clients just to show that people are much better than websites. And he wants me to schedule a meeting with him to talk about this. So as you'll see here, once I get this Chrome extension downloaded, I'm going to have a, a little click up button down here that can be moved around wherever I want it to be, but I'll also get this little icon up here at the top of my email to so see if I hover over that it says add to click up. So what I can do now is from this email, again, I want to read it later and get this actually scheduled for this meeting. So I'm going to click on that just like that. And you'll see now I have the ability to either attach this email to a task that exists in my ClickUp workspace or just create a new task. So what I want to do here is I'm going to click new task. And again, we want to make sure that this is going to the right location. So just click on this. Again, I have delivery done in Mifflin folder, review and strategy list. So just make sure that's going to the right spot to keep your ClickUp workspace organized. And again, what we're going to want to do, the task name becomes, or the subject line of your email becomes the task name. So you're going to want to change that to schedule a meeting with Michael and Dwight, just like that. And then you're also going to make sure you have your signee due date and, and things like that. So get all your task information on there as well, just to make sure all of that's included. There's some limitations on getting actual fields filled out in this. So you kind of have to, after it's done, maybe go back and, and add that into ClickUp as well. You can add the task description, things like that. This makes it super easy to create a task inside of, of ClickUp from an email or something like that. So once I'm done, I have all the information I need. I've added my task description. Um, as you'll see here, it attaches the email so I can easily get that context here. So once I actually create this task, the email is going to have a nice image of that in the task so that I can see that to get context into it. So once I'm done, we'll do command enter just like that. And we're going to create the new task. Very easy to do. And I would highly recommend that you use the ClickUp Chrome extension. But once that's done, that task is now going to be populated inside of our ClickUp workspace, Dunder Mifflin review and strategy list, just like that. So now we've created all of our tasks in here. As you'll see, if I go to schedule a meeting with Michael and Dwight, I click on that. We'll see our attachments are right here. So that's going to show me his email, which gives me the context that I need. Again, as you'll see, I need to make sure my time estimates on here. So that can be the limitation to creating tasks from the Chrome extensions. It's harder to get all that information into the task. As you'll see, just go here, add that in so that it shows up on the workload view inside of ClickUp. And there you have it. There's your three different ways of creating tasks quickly and efficiently inside of ClickUp. There's a lot of different ways that you can create a task in ClickUp, but those are three ways to save you a lot of time, especially to make sure that you get those tasks in there to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks and you remember to do everything that you promised your clients. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We're going to continue to drop click up knowledge bombs for you all. We'll see you next time. This is Jeff signing off. Stay productive, y'all. Bye.